You've made the decision, you're going to get yourself a stealth driver in 2022, but you don't know what shaft to get. In this video, Thomas and myself are going to walk through all five stock shaft options and tell you which one is right for your game. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined today by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. And today we've got all five stock shaft options for tailor-made stealth drivers. Uh, we've done some uh, immediate testing here uh, of each of the shafts. You've kind of swung at, you know, different speeds incrementally throughout the stock shafts. So we'll start with the lightest one, Thomas, the Air Speeder uh, from Fujikura. Uh, you swung that at about 90 miles an hour, and we've got some pretty good launch and good spin on that one. Yeah, the Air Speeder, it comes with the Stealth HD driver. Mm -hmm. So HD stands for high draw. Right. Uh, it is going to be a very, very high torque golf shaft. We're talking weights, you know, in A flex all the way up to stiff flex from 47 to 51 grams. Okay. So it's not the heaviest golf shaft out there. It's going to help golfers generate some speed that are looking for a little bit more speed. When I was testing these clubs, I was swinging right around about 90 miles an hour. And I think that's a good cutoff point between regular and stiff flex. Mm -hmm. And it was also the highest spinning shaft, despite you were actually the slowest uh, swing speed of the five that we tested. So that's something to note. Those players that do that more spin and speed, you're going to get it with the air speeder. Now, right. It's a shaft that is, is designed for a high launch and high spin. So moving on now to the next shaft, which will be in the stealth model, the Ventus Red. This is a new design uh, for that we've seen in fittings anyway, because there's no Velocor in this one. So the Ventus Red, talk to me about that one. Yeah, so Ventus Red has been available for TaylorMade in the last couple of generations. Mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, there is no Velocor, but it's a shaft made by Fujikura specifically for the stealth driver. So speaking on specs with this particular driver, it's a mid high launch, uh, it's a mid-spin golf shaft. Okay. Um, so it comes in A-flex, regular flex, and stiff flex. It's in that 50 gram category. So in A-flex, we're talking 53 grams, regular flex, we're talking 54 grams, and stiff flex, we're talking 55 grams. Okay. There's really not too much of a change up there. The only difference is, you know, the A-flex, you're talking about 4.3 on the torque scale, 3.9 on the torque scale with a stiff flex. So comparing that to the previous shaft, it's a lot lower in the torque. So it's gonna feel a little bit stiffer and more stable. Okay, so I mean, it does help players with maybe more swing speed than someone that would be fit into the air speeder that we just talked right. about. Right, and when I was hitting it, I was trying to hit around about 95 miles an hour mm -hmm. in the club speed. And we noticed that the spin rate dropped just a, just a little bit versus the previous right. shaft. Sure, now moving on to the next one here, again in that stealth model, uh, is going to be the Aldilla Ascent Red. So this shaft here, again, kind of moving up that scale to maybe more players uh, with a little bit faster speed and maybe, you know, maybe not as uh, flexible, if you will. Right, now we're talking about the 60 gram category. So it also is available in extra stiff. So we're talking regular stiff okay. and extra stiff. Weight in the regular is 61 grams. Weight in the stiff is 65 grams and weight in the extra stiff is 68 grams. However, the torque is still fairly high with this golf shaft. So there might be maybe a little bit more bending going on with it. We're talking torque in the regular flex of 5.0, torque in the extra stiff flex at 4.8. So it's a little bit higher. Uh, it's still a launch angle with regards to you fitting into someone that's trying for a mid launch mm -hmm. and also a mid to low spin. You know, when I was swinging this one, I was swinging at around about 100 miles an hour just to show, you know, what kind of golfer would kind of fit into this particular shaft. Yeah, and I think this is where we started to notice too, where some of that low spin was especially taking place. Maybe that face would be a little open. We saw, you know, kind of as you go up the spectrum here, uh, it wasn't as easy for you to turn over, but then the spin would still stay low despite that face being open. And so actually moving into then the Stealth Plus drivers here, we're kind of getting into those low spin, low launch shafts. We have the Hazardous Smoke RDX Red. And again, we're seeing, again, very easy to keep that launch low, that spin low. And especially for those players that do maybe have a little bit more speed, I think you were actually bumped up to about 105 when you were testing this one, and you're stable to get the good numbers. Yeah, so, you know, Project X, they, their, their, their scale is a little bit different. So 5.5 .5 is regular, 6.0 is stiff, and 6.5 is extra stiff. Mm -hmm. What's unique with this shaft is you're talking weight. They're all 60 grams in weight. So they all weigh, weigh about the same. The torque range changes a little bit. We're talking 4.5 with the 5.5, so regular flex shaft. 
we now we've dropped down to 3.5 with the stiff and extra stiff golf shaft. And this is going to be, you know, kind of right, your mid-launch to mid-spin golf shaft designed specifically for the Stealth Plus driver head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and another great performer there. And then lastly, you want to move on to the, the second stock shaft for the Stealth Plus. That is the Mitsubishi Kyle a new name to me anyway this year in 2022. Uh, again, one of those a little bit lower launching yet and a little bit lower spinning yet than the Hazardous Smoke RDX. Uh, so tell me about that one. Yeah, this is definitely the most stable shaft of the five that, we're, that we tested. As I mentioned, specifically made for the, the Stealth Plus driver. It's fairly, fairly heavy. Mm -hmm. So even though it says Kyle I White 60 on it, mm -hmm. it really is almost 70 grams in the stiff and extra stiff mm -hmm. golf shaft. There's no regular available, so we're talking stiff and extra stiff. In the 60 gram, we're talking 68 grams with the stiff flex. In the 60 gram and extra flex, we're talking 69 grams. So yep. it's right at basically 70 grams. Right. We can also get the 70 gram option as well to, to fit in as well. And we're talking stiff flex, 75 grams, extra stiff, 77 grams. So it's fairly heavy. And as you would anticipate, that torque is going to be a little bit lower as well. We're talking a range from about 4.1 to 3.7 okay. on the torque scale. Low launch, low spin. It's mm -hmm. gonna be the lowest of, of them all. It is a very, very stable golf shaft. Yeah. I was really impressed with my yeah. dispersion when I was hitting it. It's for golfers that swing a little faster for sure, but mm -hmm. it was very stable. Yeah, I know you were, your swing as, you know, especially with this shaft got really repeatable and the, the dispersion was also very tight um, with the Kyle shaft. And then lastly, I wanted to point out too, as we kind of summed up, we gave you a ton of information just now on each of the stock shafts, uh, but I did want to sum up, if you look at the landing angle for every shaft that was tested, it's right in that window, like right in the middle. You kind of say 30 to 40 degrees is the landing angle you want to make sure you're getting the ball high enough into the air. And all these were right near that 35 degree number. Right, yeah, we're talking, you know, I mean, it hit, it hit it really good. Um, we can see here when we did our initial testing here too, if we look at the spin rate, if we were gonna order the spin rate from mm -hmm. lowest to highest, we did see that with the Mitsubishi Kyle I 1825 with the spin. Next up, with regards to kind of more in the mid-spin, was the Hazardous R RDX Smoke Red, it's 2108. Mm -hmm. Adela Ascent Red, just a little, bit, a little bit more of a higher launch, higher spinning shaft, 2132. Stealth Fantas Red, 2161. And then we noticed with the airspeed of 45, that that spin rate got a little higher at 2332. Right. So we can see not only spin, but also you can see how the launch angle basically followed the same direction there too. You can see how we're talking mm -hmm. you know, lower launch angle with the Mitsubishi Kyle I, higher launch angle with the air speed of 45. And this is when you're also adjusting your club speed to fit the shaft too. Notice the club speed difference is 90, 94, up to 100. So you're seeing that trend as well. So basically what we're telling you is the shafts that we tested you today, Thomas tested for your swing and we're getting the great numbers out of them. So the next part that you have to do then is schedule a fitting at second swing, whether in the tour van here in the store or with a member of our online fitting and support team for a virtual fitting. And we'll talk you through each of the shafts, make sure you know which one is right for your swing. Uh, but as we detailed today, all five of them will give you great performance. So Thomas, thanks for joining, providing all of this information. That's a lot of figures and numbers and stats that you threw at people. But ultimately what we're telling you is all five of these stock shafts are gonna give you some great performance. So thank you again, Thomas, for your information today. Not a problem.